What's up? My name is Matt Hargenrader, and today I'm going to teach you how to skateboard. Right now the weather isn't too nice out. So I'm just going to have to teach you how to skateboard from here. Come on! Yeah, so what if you flip a couple words? I can strip the Latin birds. Open your mind, you see the circus in the sky. I'm ringing with brothers, born in the belly with the pies. No matter how you slice it up, your motherfucking guy. Just like the B-Boy with 360 waves, do the same with the pot. Still come back. One of the biggest things about skateboarding is it's a very demanding sport, and you have to realize that you're going to get hurt sometimes. A good way to avoid getting hurt is to practice coordination and balance. As the skateboarder approaches the obstacle, you can see that he keeps a balanced form and is centered on the board. Now the skateboarder crouches down to get momentum for his trick, and he distributes all the weight on the back and then lunges forward. Then he lands maintaining his balance and rides away. Once you have your balance and coordination down, you can use those skills for bigger and better obstacles. For me, one of the best places to practice your tricks and get better is a garage. The ground in the garage is smooth and allows for an easier time of doing your tricks. But try skating in a garage on a day when the ground isn't too wet because the water could possibly ruin your board. Skateboarding can be a pretty frustrating sport, but just remember to have fun with it because it's more important to have fun than to be good. And if you practice hard enough, you might even be able to get as good as this guy. Oh my.